positive life experience for you and your viewers choose who can participate. Hi viewers, this is the Shine Chef. This is Shine Chef. This is Shine Chef once again, and um, this is my first YouTube live session, right? And I, we are coming out live on um, the 2024 wire chemistry uh, volumetric analysis. I just want to use this to explain some things, to clarify or to explain some issues that um, people have been having or experiencing in the 2024 volumetry analysis. Now, the uh, volumetry analysis is between, is between, uh, what do you call it? KMNO4, that's potassium tetrazole manganese uh, 7, and ion 2 tetrazole sulfate 6. Yes, many people have been asking me whether they can make use of um, the anhydrous or the hydrated. The truth is that you can make use of any one. In the instruction, you were told to use anhydrous. But the challenge is that the anhydrous ion 2 sulfate is not a market right now. So what you have, or what you may likely get, would be the um, hydrated, that is ion 2 tetras of the sulfate 6 heptahydrate. So when you get that, you can, when you get that, you can use it for your own practical, so you get the same result. But the only difference is that you're not going to use the same mass as the anhydrous, right? So for your hydrated, you use, you are going to use five points. Sorry, for your for your anhydrous, you are meant to use. 5.5 grams. You're meant to dissolve 5.5 grams of your anhydrous in 1,000 cm cube. But for the hydrated, you are going to dissolve 10.06 grams. You dissolve 10.06 grams in 1 cm cube. If you are using the anhydrous tetrazole of sorry, if you are using the hydrated the travels of a C that's FESO4.7 H2O. Then after that, you add, you ensure that you add two molar concentration of a sulfuric acid, right, to your to your um, iron two solution when carrying out the titration. So you use your measuring cylinder, use your measuring cylinder to measure between 10 cm cube or 20 cm cube of your uh, of your concentrated shuttle for you add it to the ion 2 solution and then you prepare it then then add your KMNO4 to the titration to the burette you can see the burette here yes we'll still carry out these practicals later in the day we're just using this to test run how our live session would be, right? And after that, you should be getting, your title value should be somewhere around, should be somewhere around, let's say, 16 to 19 cm cube. 16 to 19 or let's say 20 cm cube, if you do it correctly. Remember, your title value is, is um, unique to you. You don't need to start worrying about yourself. Uh, start, start worrying yourself about another person's title value. Whatever you get is what your students will work with. Are we together? So if I have fifteen point five cm cube and you have seventeen point five cm cube, and another person has nineteen point two cm zero cm cube, we are all correct because there's no standard title value for volumetric analysis exam. So it depends on what you get. And why is that so? Because you are making use of different grades of chemicals. So they cannot, they cannot assess us based on a fixed title value. Though, theoretically, the expected title value is about 18.1. Give However, given that we have different 
we make use of different um, chemicals or grades of reagents, nobody, why well, does not expect all schools to have the same TITA value. So, actually, for those of you that joined, thank you very much for joining. I really appreciate your support, throughout, especially throughout this period. I, by, let's say, 9 o'clock or 9 p.m. this evening, we're going to carry out our live tutorial uh, or our live um, titration session. And I urge that you log in, right, and join us when we send out the notification. God bless you. God bless you. And remain blessed until we come your way next time. I remain the sign chef. We love you.